All right, hi everybody. We're, in this question, we're asked to solve this equation for n. Now, I'm seeing some factorials here, and I'm seeing the number 42. Now, the for, number 42 showed up in the previous question, so I suspect there's going to be actually a link here in terms of the values here. But we've got to expand the larger one first, because the larger factorial will subsume the smaller one. And in this case, n plus 2 is larger than n. So I'll start with n plus 2. Oops, I'm sorry, that's, I did a bad job in that n plus 2. Now, what comes, what's the next factor less than that? Well, just if you're having troubles with that, pick a number for n. So if n is, let's say, 10, n plus 2 is 12. So the next number smaller than that would be 11, and that would be 10 plus 1, or n plus 1. Okay, the next one below that would just be n. In that, if, if I'm thinking about the number there, it would be 10. This would be 12, 11, and then it would be 10. In this case, that's just n. And that's the same as my denominator, so that's where I stop. And we introduce those factorials to indicate that we continue on until we get to 1. This is going to equal to 42. So those are going to cancel here, and we're left with n plus 2 times n plus 1 is equal to 42. Now, even from here, I know that the answer is 5. Okay. Now, the reason I know that the answer is 5 here is because I've got two different factors here, but they only differ by 1. This is n plus 2. This is n plus 1. Okay. To n, when I compare these two, I'm, I'm, the difference between uh, this one and this one is that I added an additional 1 to this one that didn't get added here. So these two uh, factors only differ by 1, and their product is 42. Again, this has to be 7 and 6. And if this is 7, n must be 5. If this is 6, n must be 5. If you don't like that kind of thinking, that's okay. Expand out the, the binomials here. So you get n squared plus 3n plus 2 is equal to 42. Bring that over. n squared plus 3n minus 40 is equal to 0. And now we just have to factor this. And so we're going to get n plus 8, n minus 5 equal to 0 which means n is either equal to negative 8 or positive 5. But again, in this chapter, the negatives don't make much sense, so therefore the answer is 5. Doesn't really matter how you, you play that one out, that's what you're going to get.